evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Falls from Iron. Look what I got yesterday when I was on my way to the ground here, guys. I, I am modelling an iron supporting food bank hoodie, which I have to say feels very comfortable and is, is keeping me nice and warm. So um, I'm giving a little bit of a plug to our friends at Iron Supporting Food Bank for their very fine range of merchandise, which also feeds into this. Forge from Iron is proud to support Iron Supporting Food Banks. They are a group of West Ham United fans and friends inspired by the work of other football fan food banks around the country. They collect food and cash donations from Newham Food Bank in Beckton, who supply seven distribution centres in the borough, seven days a week, and hand out several hundred three-day emergency food packs every month to families in need. They are also working with other groups to improve conditions for vulnerable adults and children in the Newham community. They are supported in their efforts by West Ham United Football Club, the WHU Foundation, LS185, London Legacy Development Corporation, Newham Council, the Met Police, Spire London East Hospital, Expedient Security, and a large number of West Ham and football fans. You can help by making a donation to their Just Giving page. You will find the link to this in the description section of the video details in this stream. Thank you for your support. Come on, you irons. OK, right. So we're here, obviously, to discuss the goings on at London Stadium. We are also joined by Steve, as you can see, or, well, obviously you can't see his his beautiful bizarre because he's got his camera turned off as pro quotes. So, oh, um, gentlemen, let's let's get down to it. We're here to discuss the match. Duke, um, obviously, we had a little chat before we hit start broadcast. Um, the floor is yours, my friend. I'm going to press play just here. I wonder if you can tell me if you know what it is. Are you ready? Go for it. Mm hmm That's the death mill one. Bring out your dead, isn't it? That bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it wasn't pretty. I gotta say that was. Oh, I've, I've seen some. I've seen some crap over the where years. Where do I start? Be said, where do I start? Yesterday. Oh, thankfully, I didn't get to see a huge amount of it. Um, I've I've just changed me audio, guys. So just let me know if that's better. Yes. Um, I. I, I, all right, let's let's cut to the chase because I know that I'm probably going to be probably some of the people are going to come at me, possibly. Um, so I'm going to get it out of the way now. I'm done. I'm done defending. I'm done um, finding excuses. Uh, Blaming the players, although I do feel that the players do need to take some accountability for how shit they are playing. But that being said, now we cannot, I cannot personally, I don't know about anyone else, but I cannot continue to um, defend the dross as I've as I've put up on uh, on Facebook earlier. This this absolute mediocrity style of football that we're playing. Um, I've I've spent weeks, couple of months defending David Moyes, not necessarily defending his tactics, but I, I, for me, yesterday he he used up the last of his goodwill. That he had in the bank with me. I'm sorry. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I thought I, I, people have been saying it long enough, and I've been kind of hoping that something would um, 
something would change. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changing. Um, he's a stubborn, arrogant dick, if you want my opinion right now. Um, I, I cannot, I cannot see why he can't see what we see, Rob. Okay. Um, uh, it's, we're, we're at a point now where our, our season went from the possibility of a top half finish to one now where I said six weeks ago, and I, it is six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, that we were in a relegation battle. And people mm. were saying, don't be silly, don't be silly, don't be silly. Well, seven weeks down the line of me, because it did turn around, it, let's not mess around, there were some slight bits that flipped around and, and results started going our way. And yes, they did coincide with playing you know, conference league sides from, uh, when I say conference league, I mean national conference um, from other countries. And, um, yeah, I mean, listen, he's he's not listening. You know, I've, I've, got, I've got friends that coach. I've got a brother that has spent the last couple of years managing football sides. And if for anyone that's on our Fords from Iron, Facebook page, if we go on and look at the last post that I actually put up, it was actually written to me by my brother. As I say, he's, he's, he's a football coach, he's a football manager. Um, he wrote that post. I, I asked him if I could use it. He said, yes, I've, I've given him the credit on it. Yep. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. You know, it's the negativity, Rob. Um, it's the negativity of the players going out there and not doing what we did best last season. As my brother pointed out, there's no, um, there's no overlapping from the fullbacks, which doesn't allow our high and wide wingers to come inside. As he pointed out, it's the reason that Bowen got a lot of his goals last season was because, you know, the high overlaps and, you know, Bowen could come inside. You know, he's he's given a few ideas for, for some tactics. He's given a few ideas for some um, formations, which I haven't put out there yet. I'm just going to use those over the next couple of days and see what we can come up with. Um, I'll be honest, I bought tickets. <laughs> oh, fuck, I wish I hadn't. I bought tickets today, hospitality uh, in, the forged, in the forged bar. Mm. Um, which I, I feel like I'm at home in there, Rob, when we go to the Forged Bar. Um, I bought hospitality tickets. cost me £170 for myself and Joe to go watch um, the, the Blackburn game on Wednesday. Um, because I feel it will be the last time I get to see David Moyes in charge of a West Ham side. I believe if it doesn't go well on Wednesday... Or if it doesn't go well on Sunday, um, he's gone. And I think it's the right thing to do now. Mm. Steve, yourself? Well, <laughs> I, I can't really put into words what I felt. Um, I mean, it was so bad. Ten minutes from the end, my lower <clears throat> intestine leapt up and tried to strangle me to end my suffering you know it was it was pretty grim wasn't it mm. um i think the most telling thing for me about the performance was the end of the game because you and i sit quite near each other and we met on the concourse and you were completely speechless mm. oh oh we've lost him have you dropped out, Steve? Sorry, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm back now. My internet's not so grand tonight, so apologies to anybody watching. Then it from the same company as Rob. No, uh, and no, mine's all sorted now. It's uh, yeah, it, does, it it comes and goes. My internet, but anyway, no, you were speechless. You didn't have mm. words. Which anybody who knows you, that's very rare. 
you know, that's, I'm not being rude with that. That's just the way you are. No, no, and, yeah. And I was angry. And you said, good grief, you're never angry about a result. Mm. It never bothers you that much. And I was spitting feathers. I mean, I, I've thought about it today. I mean, against Brighton, we were abysmal. We were absolutely abysmal. I don't think we quite plumbed the depths of the Brighton performance. But as my James said, when I got home, he said it was damn close, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, it, I look at it, we've spent $180 million. Incidentally, Claret and Hugh have come out and said there isn't any money to spend in January. But that's neither here nor there. We've spent $180 million. Hmm. And I think the problem now <clears throat> lies... That yeah, Moyes can take average players and make them better. Craig Dawson, prime example. Aaron Creswell, 